Cardinals hoping to find the success that eluded them at Cincinnati. Carlos Zambrano facing Fernando Vina with the bases loaded in the top of the second. First time those two had ever faced each other. Vina with the facial. His third career, a grand slam. And cue up cool in the gang. Celebrate good times. Come on. Oh, please don't. 4-1 <laughs> in the third. Dino's turn. Martinez turns on the pitch, but Moises Alou turns on his toes, activates his glove, and how many times you see a player make a great defensive play and then do something special at the stick. All the time, it's called editing. Alou's first home run off Matt Morris in 44 at-bats. It's a 4-3 game. Top eight, J.D. Drew looking at a 3-1 count, now looking at a full count. That's going to get Tony La Russa's attention, and La Russa's opinions are going to get him thumbed by Mike Winters. Drew will give Skip something to smile about in the clubhouse. Ball's not out of the house, but it's over the wall. His second 5-3. Hey, La Russa cheated. He saw it live. Cards win 6-3. Oh, the Reds haven't won seven straight homers in nearly seven years. Can roll seven if they can roll visiting Milwaukee. We're going to roll the flashback past Monday. Aaron Boone, game-winning homer. Tuesday, Barry Larkin off the DL and on the heroes list. Reds, nine last at-bat wins this year. Bottom nine. Mike Dejan had converted his last seven save chances. Austin Kearns double down the line, scores Jose Guillen. Pinch runner Willie Mopena runs through the stop sign, and you are O-U-T. But a Richie Sexton error did tie this game at five. That's where we are. Bases loaded. Felipe Lopez hits the grounder to Sexton, and he atones. Boom. Upset. We go to the 10th. Tied at five. Royce Clayton against Enrique Cruz. Excuse me, to Enrique Cruz, and he's gunned out at home by Jose Guillen. Oh, what a throw. It's Enrique Cruz, who's gunned out at home. Third time's a charm. Keith Ginner, pinch hit double. Gave the Brewers a lead. Bottom 10. Vizcayana throws high and inside to Jose Guillen, and next pitch, you know what's coming. And a swing and a fly ball. Hit the deep center field. It is gone. Tenth victory in their last at-bat this season. Third game-ending homer in a week, and their sixth such victory at their new Paul Bark 7-6 final. Mets playing a team even worse than them, the Padres, and the Art Howe Mike Piazza catch your first base discussions continuing. Piazza behind the plate. It was over four with two Ks Friday night. 3-3 three, three in the eighth. Xavier and 80 off David Weathers. A two-run shot is fourth. Nady three for four, but hold on. The Mets are saying that Nady passed Mark Kotze on the base pass. Take a look. Nady will clearly wait for Kotze to head to second before touching first. And he's all right, he's going now. He continues, touches first, and then rounds the bases. So the Mets had no case. Bottom nine, Padres up 5 4. Jesse Orozco with runners on the corners. Two outs. Robbie Alomar, the pitch to him in the dirt. Weaking Gonzalez blocks it. Ray Sanchez to third. And then Orozco. 46. Gets Alomar to end the game. His first save at Chase in September 27, 1987. And the Padres win 5 4. Rockies in Florida. The Marlins, Dontrell Willis making his major league debut. Top two, Marlins up one nothing. Preston Wilson. Willis with a fastball gets his first major league K. And then gets Jose Hernandez for good measure. End of the inning, top four. That's what I'm talking about. Willis rings up Larry Walker. Willis allowed three runs on seven hits in six. Walk two, struck out seven. Two one Rockies in the sixth. And it's Wilson. Homers to left is eighth. Rockies up 3 1, 4 4 in the ninth. Juan Encarnacion. Encarnacion. Deep left. You're welcome. Florida wins 5-4. Encarnacion is fifth as the Marlins snap a six-game losing streak. Rocker is back in the bigs, called up from AA Orlando by the Tampa Bay Devil Rays on Friday. Rocker was throwing 91-93 in Orlando, where he did not allow a run in four innings over four appearances. GM Chuck Lamar says they expect Rocker to be a productive bullpen guy, not some savior closer. Another new face in the Devil Rays clubhouse, lefty Jim Parquet, activated from the 15-day DL Friday. He got the start in Friday night's game, and Jim Parquet certainly made the most of it. Parquet had been out since April 9th with tendonitis in his pitching shoulder. There's Rocker, and Parquet facing the suddenly hot Tigers, who came in with a four-game winning streak. Top four facing Craig Monroe. And Parquet gets Monroe to ground out to Marlon Anderson. Jim Parquet has allowed no hits through four. Top five now, Brandon Inge. 
to left. Carl Crawford's out there. Parquet through five without allowing a hit. He has taken a no-no as far as the eighth before. Trouble in the sixth, though. Walks Omar Infante. Next batter, Bobby Higginson gets a pass as well. Javier Valentin out to chat. First and second now. Next batter, Dimitri Young, but Parquet gets out of the 5-4-3. He has allowed no hits through six. Bottom six now. The Rays need a run. Travis Lee. And there's the run Parquet was looking for off Adam Bernero. A solo shot his second. It's 1-0 Tampa Bay. In the seventh now, here's Dean Palmer. And there goes the no-hitter. Tigers first hit. Lou immediately takes Parquet out. Parquet allowed just the one hit in six. Did walk four guys. Struck out two, but pitched to beauty. Top eight, John Rocker in. First batter walks Bobby Higginson. Next batter walks Dimitri Young. Rocker faced two guys, walked them both. And uh, yeah, that's it. Lou's seen enough. Lance Carter in facing Dean Palmer. First and second in a one-run game. And Carter gets the big strikeout. Devil Rays win two zip. Tigers have been shut out eight times already this year. Blue Jays in Anaheim. Aaron Seeley making his season debut. He'd been out since March, recovering from right shoulder surgery. Top one gets Greg Myers out of a jam there. Top two, Eric Kinski, an 0-2 pitch. Waves at it. Seeley struck out four. Orlando Hudson. After walking Hudson, he strikes out Chris Woodward. Benji Molina tries to throw out Hudson stealing, so there's the strike him out, throw him out. Top three, Vernon Wells. Seeley gets Wells to ground into the 5-4-3. Seeley out of another jam. He allowed one run on only two hits in five and two-thirds. Scoreless in the fourth. Sean Wharton off Doug Davis. Fly ball back it goes. Just deep enough, and the Angels have a 2-0 lead. It was 4-1 in the seventh. Tim Salmon. And Salmon punches that one into left. Bidding for a home run here. It's off the AmeriQuest mortgage sign. Two-run score. Angels win 6-1. Yeah, give them a plug. Anaheim's four straight when they are back at 500, 17 and 17. Record in the majors at Oakland, Tim Hudson Friday, and they'll be followed by Barry Zito Saturday, and then Mark Mulder Sunday. Three big names, but not big numbers. Uh, Huddy 0-2, Zito 2-2, Mulder 1-4 against the Yanks. 3-8 overall with a 457 ERA. Top four athletics up 2-0 and and the Hudson. A leadoff walk to Nick Johnson. Huddy's never beaten the Yanks in five career starts. Next batter, former teammate Jason Giambi. Four for ten off his former teammate coming in, and that ball is going out. Giambi's eight. And we are tied at deuces. Bottom four, still twos. Miguel Tejada facing Jeff Weeder, Weaver. Rock and Robin barehanding it and throwing Miggy out. Ventura's got gold gloves. Bottom eight, still twos, and runner at second, Weaver to Eric Chavez, and Chavez up the middle, Mark Ellis scores. Oakland takes a 3-2 lead, up 5-2. Terrence Long facing Chris Hammond. And the 0-2. This one's going to Bernie Williams. Just Bernie's not going to it in time. Gets by Bernie and T. Long, former Hawaii Winter Leaguer. First inside the park homer for the Athletics since Chavez did it against Roger Clemens in New York in August of 2000. The A's going to win this ball game, 7-2. Pedro on the mound in Minnesota. Red Sox opening a three-game set against the Twins. Let's flash back to last Saturday, May the 3rd. Martinez was dazzling a complete game. Five hitter struck out 12 Twins at Fenway Park. Friday, though, the command not as effective in a return date with Minnesota. Leadoff hitter Jock Jones leads off with a single to center field. Christian Guzman is the next guy up, and he chops one off the plate. That's an infield single. So the Twins have something going here early against Pedro. Two batters later, it's Todd Sears. He knocks it into center. Jones scores, and it's 1-0 Twins. Two men on in the second. Sears up again. Jason Veritek wants it inside. Pedro gets it up and over. And Sears, just 38 career major league at bats, gets his first big league home run, a three-run shot. It's 5-0 Minnesota. Pedro shaking his leg. Grady Little out there to talk. Grady said it's a groin thing. Here you can see Pedro, something clearly not right there. They will check Martinez out on Saturday. He threw just 83 pitches, his shortest outing of the year. Five runs on eight hits and five. Twins win five zip. They have one nine of ten. Well, the Giants are in Atlanta, and they have the best road record in the NL. Greg Maddox and Barry Bonds have faced each other the most times in any active pitcher versus any active batter. Bonds, a 284 lifetime hitter with eight home runs against Maddox. Top one. 
Uh, you see the graphic, and Bonds tries to pull the outside fastball and grounds out to Rafael for a call. Top four, Bonds second at bat, and well, once again, we go graphic again, and Bonds tries to pull the outside pitch again, and once again, it's for call again. Well, Barry Bonds isn't as good as he is without making some adjustments, and in the top of the six, he does just that. Maddox paints the corner, and Barry lining it to right center. He went one for three against Maddox, went two for five on the game, stole a base, and scored two runs. Top seven, it's time for the Braves to get glovely. Andres Galarraga. The bouncer to Maddox from his knees. Golden. Next batter, Ray Durham. He's going to visit Andrew Jones in center. Jones, by the way, no RBIs after night and straight games with the rib, but he dives on his ribs for the, the catch and the out. And top eight, get out. Benito Santiago against Young Bong. Three run shot, his fifth, and the Giants win it 9 2. Floyd McClendon's Pirates, a loss to the D-backs, would be Pittsburgh's seventh straight, matching their longest losing streak in two years. Bottom four, one nothing D-backs. Kenny Lofton on first for Jason Kendall. Lines out to Matt Williams. They double up Lofton, or do they? Look at this. Lofton, clearly, back in time. He should have been safe. Lloyd McClendon pointing that out out there with Charlie Relaford. But you know what? Lloyd often has issues with first base umpires. McClendon gets himself run, but it wasn't quite as bad as June 26th of 2001. Let's set the Wayback Machine for that date and visit Lloyd McClendon, who got tossed and says, you know what, I'm taking first base with me. Let's get back to the present day. Reggie Sanders having a tough night against Kurt Schilling. The big Schill had it working. Gets Sanders in the first, fourth, and sixth. Schilling tossed a four-hitter, did not walk a batter, struck out ten. Sanders up in the ninth, looking for redemption against Schilling and gets a hold of one. Yanks it long and foul, and of course, Schilling will K. Sanders for the fourth time. The shutout, Schilling's 18th, his first since beating Milwaukee in April of last year. D-backs win 5-0. Up one in the third, two on two out for Vlad Guerrero, who was 13 for 23 a career against Brown. 565 hitter gets nothing there. Bottom four runners on the corners with two outs, and Claudio Vargas is out after looking at that pitch. Brown leaves with a fairly comfortable 5 1 lead after six. Frank Robinson leaves in a fairly uncomfortable fashion. He was unhappy with that strike call and the exchange rate. Bottom seven, 5 3. Guerrero can't figure out Guillermo Mota either. Vlad goes 0 for 5 and leaves five on. Next batter, Brad Wilkerson and well, he has a handle on the Dodger reliever. Handles that pitch, scores a couple runs. This game will be tied, and Kevin Brown is no longer a decision maker. Top eight, two out. Fred McGriff taking a bite out of Scott Stewart. Career home run number 482, leading L.A. to four runs in the frame and a 9-5 beating of the Expos. Despite leaving with a 5-1 lead after six, Kevin Brown doesn't get the decision Friday night against the Spose. Over his last four starts, Brown has a 161 ERA and an incredible strikeout-to-walk ratio of 8-1. to one. Astros in Philly, bottom six, Jim Tomey. Only the 21st upper deck right field home run in vet history. Tomey seventh, that off of Roy Oswalt. It's 3-1 Phillies Oswalt. Gave up three runs on six hits and six. Top seven, Brett Myers facing Lance Berkman. Walks him to lead off the inning. Joe Kerrigan's out there to talk to him. One bad to later, Brad Ausmus. He singles to right. Runners are first and third. Remember, Kerrigan's already been out to the mound. So Larry Boa comes out to talk and or words of encouragement from Myers. And Larry leaves, but hold on, Larry. You got to take the pitcher out. Huh? Oops. Two visits to the mound in one inning. Get somebody else in there. Here comes Terry Adams. Bases loaded. Jose Vizcaino to center. RBI single for Vizcaino. The Astros are only down one now. Bases still loaded. Real Cormier into face Morgan Ensberg. To short, Jimmy Rollins will flip the second, and that ends the inning as the Phillies escape the jam. Top nine, five, three, Phil, two on, two out. Jose Mesa, Ensberg, Mesa. Picked up his 11 save and 13 chances. Philly snap, Houston, seven game winning streak.
In Texas, Friday, Cleveland has lost nine consecutive road games. We're all about Rafi Palmero and 499 homers. That's his son, Patrick, and there's his wife with the binoculars. He's two for five career against Jake Westbrook. No long balls. Bottom one, and, well, this isn't long enough. Carl Everett, though, is going to tag up and score, and Palmero moves into 25th place on the career RBI list. That's number 1597, but we're interested in home run number 500, and, well, that's not going to get it done, but it is a single to right, and Rafi says, I'll take it. Bottom eighth, Palmero's fourth at bat, and he swings at the pitch in the dirt. John Hirschbeck says it, it tipped into the catcher's mid strike three, but Kerwin Danley says, you know, I had a different view, and, well, Palmero could make some history, and, well, it's ruled a foul ball. It clearly hit the dirt first. Second chance for Palmero and full count, and, oh, is it 500? <laughs> but Phillips can't make the catch. Brandon dumps it, and Palmero's living large. The payoff. Now he's walking to first base, ball four, and the kids are not happy. They came to see 500. Bottom nine. Look what we have here. History, almost. Oh, man. Just foul. The, the fan might have grabbed that before it might have hit the foul ball. I can't take anymore. Enough. Oh, Did his, get it or not? his wife thought it was gone. And Is that Rocky's brother? Oh, Palmero, he hangs tough. Same at bat, lines it to right, Shane Spencer. Nah. Hank Blaylock, Donnie Sadler, a double for Palmero, who went two for two, sack fly, two walks. Made it 9-5, we stay in the bottom of the ninth. Juan gone. It's not gone, it's a foul ball. Strikes a boy in the stands. The boy was taken to the hospital with his left eye swollen shut. He never lost consciousness. Indians, a season high, 16 hits, and they beat the Rangers 9-5. Orioles, Royals, playing a pair in KC, top three. Jay Gibbons off Miguel Asensio, single to right. David Segui comes in, three nothing Baltimore. Asensio allowed eight runs on 10 hits in six. He was racked. Tony Batista, next guy up. Up the middle, two runs come in. Orioles bat around, they get a five-run third. It was 6-1 Baltimore in the fifth. Bases loaded here, Rick Helling in a jam, gets Carlos Beltran. Helling gave up just three runs on eight hits in seven. Top seven, Albie Lopez with a 3-0 count on Batista, who swings on the 3-0 and goes yard is sixth. Batista matched a career high with five RBI. Baltimore season high, 17 hits, they win game one, 15-5. Doubleheader nightcap now. Tony Pena's team coming in. 12 come from behind wins this season, most in the American League. Bottom eight, Orioles down 5-2. Buddy Groom, Ken Harvey, Blooper, Beltran scores, and it's a 5-3 Oriole lead. Next guy up, it's D. Brown facing Buddy Groom. First and second, two out. Base hit to left. Here come the Royals. They wave Relaford, and it's a one-run game. Bottom ninth, still 5-4. Michael Tucker facing Jorge Julio. Tucker chops it into center, and here comes another KC comeback win, but hold on. After the force out at second, Julio facing Carlos Beltran, and Beltran hits into the 6-4-3, and the Orioles get out of it. They win 5-4. O's sweep two doubleheaders in one season for the first time since 91. Mariners and White Sox opening a three-game set at Safeco. Seattle down 2-0. Ichido leading off the Mariner inning. Mags robs him. 2-0 White Sox in the third. Ryan Franklin walks Mags. That's Valentin at second. Thinks he can catch Franklin napping. Takes off for third. I don't think so. Jeff Cirillo was there in plenty of time. 4-2 M's in the sixth. Two men on for Carlos Guillen. Guillen. Into left, Brian Dovach. Lee. Sliding catch, can't get it. Ben Davis and Ethan O's score. Gein with two triples in the game. It's 6-2 Seattle. Top eight, Chicago down 6-3, Mags. On first, Armando Rio, Shikatoshi Hashigawa, deals to Rios and gets a grounder to second. Boone and Gein, look at this. Right off the hand, an unconventional 4-6-3. Seattle wins the game, 6-3.